Hi, my name is Kent C. Dodds, and I'm going to give an introduction to AngularJS over uh, Hangouts on Air, as well as uh, physically for the people who are able to make it. And so I, I don't want to spend a lot of time for the setup um, so people can follow along, and so I'm providing this video so that hopefully um, people can get set up before the event. So if you go to the event, and I'll add a link to this event in the description of this video, you scroll down to the details, it will show you um, the step-by-step -step instructions for how to set up um, your machine to follow along in this um, workshop. So the first thing that you need to do is install Node.js. Now you don't need to do this if you have Python running on your machine. You can actually uh, do what we're trying to do uh, with Python. So to, to determine that, you go into your command line or, or your, your terminal and you type python dash dash version and if it gives you a Python version here then you're good to go. You don't need to install Node. Um, but if it doesn't give you anything or if you just rather uh, give it a whirl uh, installing Node then uh, this is where you'd go in nodejs.org and uh, you'd click install here and download it and, and it would actually it's just like any other installation that you'd go through so that's uh, fairly simplistic you just follow the instructions in that installation and uh, as soon as that's complete you can know whether or not it worked by typing node dash dash version and if you get a version out of that then you have node installed so uh, then we can move on to uh, git and you'll want to uh, download and install git here uh, this is how you're going to follow along in the actual code and so you don't get left behind as I'm uh, typing different things and whatever uh, you'll just follow along with our git repository so you download and install git and it's just another regular installation and as soon as that is done you can do git dash dash version and that will show you the current version of git you have running on your machine and that should um, if, if that doesn't come up then maybe you've got a problem and uh, you might need a little bit of help uh, getting that installed but assuming you have Python or Node and definitely Git then you can continue on to the next step now if you're doing Node there's one extra thing that you need to do and it's run this npm install uh, g dash g HTTP ser dash server. Okay, so that command is just n npm install dash g HTTP dash server. And uh, a gotcha here is um, you may need to run this with sudo, or if you're on a Windows, you have to open up your uh, command prompt. Uh, you'll like right click on it and then open or, or say run as administrator uh, so that um, node can actually touch your, your global. Uh, namespace. Um, so it'll install HTTP server for you and then um, we're going to run git clone and we'll clone my repository. So let's just run that real quick. Now this repository is actually based off of uh, Dave Geddes repository and uh, he's the one who created this ng workshop and this is how I one of the the things that really helped me learn node at the start um, and so all, all credit goes to him. I have made a couple of alterations and changes, which is why we're running off of my fork of his repository. Um, but I'm really grateful for him and what he's done. So then once that uh, downloads and it says uh, done here, we'll want to change our directory uh, into ng workshop. Um, that's what was just downloaded and installed for us. And um, then we can, if we look at the contents here, we've got a .git, that's for our git stuff, but the th there are three files in here that we actually really care about, AngularJS, Bootstrap, just for the fun of it, and index.html. So now what we need to do is run HTTP server. So if you're going the node route, this is what you'll do, HTTP-server, and that'll spin up a server running on port 8080 um, on your local host. So if we go to local host, 8080, then, whoops, there we go, um, then you should have just this feedback up here at the top. Uh, and then if, if you're doing the Python route, then you'll instead you'll type python-m 
simple HTTP server and then 8080. So here, before I run that, we'll run this and it's not available. So we'll run this and now Python is starting a new server on port 8080 and it's the exact same thing. So you can do this with Python or Node. Either way works just fine. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we're all set up. Um, and throughout this, uh, the course of this project, well, oh, let's, uh, I'll just show you. We're actually going to be um, checking out different branches on this repository. So you, when you're in inside of the folder that your ng workshop is in, you can type git checkout and um, you could do uh, directives, uh, for example. And now if we go here, uh, it changes and it has a, a couple of things. Um, and then you can look at the code and see how that magic is happening. So that's basically it. That's, that's set up. You should be all set up if you get to this point. If you have any trouble, go ahead and leave a comment and um, hopefully I'll be watching those so that I can help you out through your troubles. So thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow or uh, hope to catch you on the internets. Bye.